All right, well, Taz just dropped me off at Table Rock State Park. I'm starting my hike here and heading westbound to Oconee. My car's parked at Oconee, um, planning a five-day itinerary. Um, since there's some lovely trash bins right there and flush toilets, I'm taking advantage of the time. It's about lunchtime. I'm starting on the trail pretty late because that's when, just whenever I could get picked up by Taz. Um, so I'm gonna eat some food and then go ahead and start my day. I'm pretty excited and the colors are beautiful. Here we go, headed that way. It's not the AT, but it sure does feel like home again. <laughs> so when you start the Foothills Trail from Table Rock State Park, you're actually sharing real estate with a couple of other trails. So you see blazes on trees that look like flags. It's also exceptionally beautiful on this first bit here. Lots of water flowing, really gorgeous. And of course, we've got that beautiful fall foliage right now too. Fall colors are so pretty here right now. All right, so I'm just a couple miles in to my hike right now. And first of all, it is so pretty out here. Oh my gosh, the fall colors are incredible. And I um, have stopped to chat with a few people on trail so far and uh, I just met this super nice lady named Paula with a beautiful pup she let me pet. Um, and I don't know if you'll ever find this channel, Paula, but if you do, I hope you get out on the AT someday, get that through hike in and have a wonderful time doing it. Oh, this is so pretty. So when I was talking to Taz, who is a legendary trail angel here on the Foothills Trail, um, he shuttled me from Oconee all the way over to Table Rock State Park um, and I had asked him, I was like, so Taz, seems like eastbound is the way to go. Um, I, of course, am doing westbound. I was like, why is that? He goes, well, your backpack is heaviest. First thing when you get on the trail, which is true. My bag is so heavy right now with food. Um, and you're pretty much climbing up for like the entirety of the first day, like five miles or something like that, I think he said, where it's just basically going up. But the grade's not bad so far, and it's been super pretty. Um, and I'm one of those people that would much rather just get it out of the way, especially after hiking the AT. So I'm just trying to kick back and relax and enjoy my time out here um, in all of this beauty and try to ignore how heavy and creaky my backpack is, knowing that once I start eating the food, I will be just fine again. But I can definitely feel that my through hiker legs have regressed. Um, I don't think I really have them anymore. Definitely feeling soreness that's uh, in my knees and in my shins. Um, actually the same spot in my shins that usually get sore when I'm running. So I'm hoping I'm not too bad off tomorrow, but definitely can tell I'm not as fit as I was when I got off the AT. Oh, this is such a big tree. Oh my goodness. I love big trees. <laughs> and uh, here's to hoping that I can actually do this in um, you know, the five days that I planned, which I'm sure I can. I'll be rolling into camp pretty close to dark tonight, but that should be fine. Um, I have a headlamp for a reason, and it's not like I've got much else to do since this is a solo hike. But it's a beautiful day out. I'm really excited to be back out on trail again. And it's so nice that this one's white blaze because it really does feel like coming home.
It's small, but there's my first view. What a beautiful day today. I freaking love fall. I love it. This is so exceptionally beautiful. And I'm so happy right now with all of these gorgeous colors in front of me and behind me. Like it's so, so pretty. I'm so happy that I'm able to be out this week. Now that's a nice bridge. This is amazing. Oh, it's it's stunning and I love that you can see Table Rock back there too. There's Table Rock. And I think this is Rocky Ball that we're on right now. This is absolutely stunning. And the camera does not do the colors down in the valley justice. It's beautiful. All right, so I just passed the four mile mark and that's where the trail bifurcates into the Pinnacle Mountain Summit, um, which the Pinnacle Trail, the Yellow Blaze Trail, that shares the foothills from uh, Table Rock, then splits off and you go back the way you came. Oh, that's a nice little campsite. Huh. Um, or you hang a left if you're going westbound to get on the Foothills Trail. So now I am solely on the Foothills Trail, just the white blazes, no other paint colors, at least for a while. Just met a couple of really nice guys uh, who had actually commented on the Foothills Facebook page that they were leaving today. And uh, I had messaged them back and been like, hey, I'm leaving too. And uh, we just ran into each other. They're going a little bit slower than I am um, on their itinerary. So probably won't see them again, but it was really nice to meet you guys. And uh, this trail is so, so pretty. I'm loving it so far. But I've got a lot more miles to do tonight before it gets dark and I'm hoping to get in a camp before it gets dark tonight, but we shall see. say these campsites on the Foothills Trail so far are next level. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. Amazing. So I think this is the only cabled rock face crossing on the Foothills Trail, but as you can tell, there's really not a lot of water right now. I'm going to fill up though. It's really pretty. Water source is always a good spot for a snack. So the Foothills Trail is infamous for its number of stairs, and I'm starting to see why. So some of the water sources on the Foothills Trail are actually cisterns. You can see one right back there. And you just take the lid off and ideally there's water inside and not a dead mouse. Um, apparently a lot of these cisterns are dry right now though. Um, I've been carrying some extra water with me whenever I find a flowing source, but that's an option for water um, if you're on the Foothills Trail.
So I just popped down here to Cantrell campsite just to take a little break, um, use the bathroom, eat some snacks, and it's so cute. Look at, there's like this little ring of stone shears. There's lots of flat sets to camp. There are several fire rings. The foliage is beautiful. The place is huge. Like this is really, really cool and I'm, I'm digging it. It's pretty sweet. So Taz has left this water cache for us at the top of Sassafras Mountain, which is so kind because it means we don't have to carry it from the bottom all the way up. I did make use of it and I really appreciate it, Taz. Thank you so, so much. All right, made it up Sassafras Mountain. Yay, pit toilets. I actually didn't need to use them, but I did throw my trash away in there because there are trash bins on the inside. Just filled up on my water because Taz left a water cache. I'm carrying a little bit extra, although I just ran in to hold my beer. Hi. It was nice to meet you. And um, he said that the water at the campsite I'm headed for is in fact running, which is good. Um, also ran into someone else, a very nice lady who stopped to ask me questions about the Foothills Trail. Um, it was lovely to meet her too. And uh, people around here are so nice. They're really so nice. But I'm hiking the rest of the way up south of us now, which it appears is just this like access road, basically. Um, but Taz says it has an amazing view and then it should be pretty much all downhill from there to my campsite. So trying to get there before dark tonight. Um, but I feel like I'm doing a pretty impressive day for having started so late. Pretty proud of myself, but oh, I'll tell you what guys, food and water is heavy. I didn't usually carry resupplies this big on the AT. So it is crushing my back and my legs and my shoulders right now <laughs> and I'm a little sad but this is more incentive to make sure that I eat uh, as I get rid of the weight on my back and the last few days on trail will probably be quite delightful because my pack will be lighter. <laughs> right foot in the home state, left foot in South Carolina. Cool. Taz told me that the most beautiful views were gonna be from Sassafras and he was absolutely correct. This is gorgeous. And I've gotta walk all the way around. Right now I'm in North Carolina and now I'm in South Carolina again. Wow. All colors are incredible and the moon is out. Okay, wow, Sassafras was an incredible view. And I'm so sorry that the video that you guys are gonna see does not even do it justice. The colors are so beautiful. And I met another couple of people at the top. Um, one of them was from Oregon and the other one was from actually really close to me in North Carolina. And I'm so sorry guys, you will find if you watch my channel long enough, I am terrible at remembering names, but it was so nice to meet you guys. And I hope you found my channel. Hello, welcome. Um, also, sun is starting to descend in the sky and I have a few more miles to get done today. So I'm gonna be booking it um, pretty much all downhill from here, or in this case, down staircase. So I'll catch up with you guys, hopefully when I'm in camp. I think it's so cool when the trail curves back and you can see where you're about to go for a while. It's really cool. And hard turn. We have lots of stairs all the way down. That's actually really cool. All right, I can actually see the campsite from here. It is not dark yet. Sunset's at 6.45, so I'm, in, I'm gonna be in camp about 30 minutes before sunset. So I'll be able to get my tent put up and my meal um, eaten. And I'm not camped alone tonight, which actually is a huge blessing to me because I was a little worried about that because I don't usually camp alone. So hopefully whoever's there is nice and uh, I'll close this video out a little later, but I'm so proud of myself. I did my miles and I made it to camp before sundown. Successfully made it into camp before dark. Ate food, the moon is bright, it was a beautiful day, had a great time. Camped with two class of 21 through hikers. Fantastic first day on trail. Looking forward to tomorrow, it's gonna be really beautiful. Good night.